everybody. Welcome to another Art with Mel. I've been doing a lot of arts and crafts lately, but these videos keep popping up on my YouTube and I have to try them. It is called acrylic pouring. Um, I saw this on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of videos. I'm also following a Facebook group on it and it looks super cool. So I want to try it. So I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gloves on. Oh, did you see the dust? That was amazing. You guys are literally trying this. With, I haven't tried this before, so. The GoPro keeps beeping at me. I'm going to mix my first color. I have a, um, instructions here in front of me. If you keep seeing me looking down here, that's what I'm doing. Because, um, like I said, this is my first time doing this. And I want to um, try it. So, with you guys for the first time. So, let's start with. The first color we're going to use because um, it's going to be sitting on there longer or sitting in the cup longer. I'm starting with a small canvas because who knows how it's going to turn out. Okay, flow with Charles. I wonder what this stuff smells like. Oh. It smells like bleach. Yeah, it smells good. Okay. Okay, so we got my one part Floatrol going now. So I'm going to put the colors in. We're going to turn the GoPro. What's going on with my GoPro here? Listens to me. All right, so we're going to start with the white paint. Oh, I still need these guys. I put them away. I need them. So the white paint, two parts paint. So... Whoa, this, maybe I overestimated how much I'm going to need. Whoa, this is going to be a lot. I'm not going to use black. Let's do three colors. So two parts. This is such a sweet color. One, two. Okay. Oops. So I'm going to put my stir sticks in. I'm going to stir it up real good. It says stir really thoroughly. Okay, so my liquid silicone. That should work. Two to four. One, two. One, two. 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 I think I'm going to try the messy pour way because it looks super cool and just see what happens. So I'm gonna pour some white. So what we're going to do now is tilt the canvas wherever you want a, the middle to be. I'm just going to put it in the middle. Tilt the canvas onto the cup like this so that you can tilt the cup. Oh my goodness, this is super cool. Ah, so my things aren't really working, but I'm going to...
How cool is that? So I'm going to make some orange come down here. Um, not much is coming out of there anymore. But I still have colors left. You can see it's um, doing these bubble things. Apparently that's the um, uh, silicone. It's causing um, something to happen, some kind of chemical reaction to happen. But I really like the look of this. I can see how that it's it probably going to take a really long time to dry. This is going to be my new hobby. How cool. So I hope you guys liked this. Um, I don't see why you wouldn't. This is super cool. So I'm going to leave this like this. I think I'm happy with it like this. Um, and then once this is dry, well, this was super fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I think this is crazy cool. I don't know how we did not do this in art class in school. But I hope you guys can figure out how to do this at home because it's super fun. And um, you can literally like mix any colors you want together. I hope you guys had fun. I loved this. I think it's cool. I'm going to be doing this a lot more often. Um, I probably won't make a ton of videos on it, but I can show you guys my art and yeah, show you what I'm making kind of as I'm making it. So um, this has been fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you're new here, um, leave me a comment. Let me know who you are. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want and uh, hit the like button as well. Love to have you stick around. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week and we will see you next time. Bye!